the, the emotions of this day. Uh, how do you feel? Well, very emotional, as you're saying, and I think today is very significant because for many people, in particular us from Parliament, it's the first time that we are able to sort of pour out uh, whatever we're holding since Thursday, uh, the falling of the icon. And it is an emotional day. And the fact that we're really celebrating the life or two o'clock as the joint sitting, we will be there. We'll be celebrating the life of this icon. It's wonderful. All right. May I, uh, from the NCOP side, is this a fitting tribute to Madiba? It is, because um, I can't imagine how more could be done. It's how committed we are in seeing the whole thing going through amicably. And the uh, after all, everybody understands this is our icon, Udata, Gumkulu, and the great grandparent of all the generations, even those who are 94, you know, uh, products. You'll be surprised how much they know, and they are eager to learn even more about this icon. And it's up to us now to ensure that we educate our people. And as NCOP, we will definitely push jointly with the NA. All right, Maya, thank you very much. Maya, then just lastly, before I let you go, uh, as the National Assembly, uh, how do you then keep uh, uh, the legacy of Tatu Madiba alive? Well, keeping the legacy alive really is about keeping his values, which I think it's something we've been trying very hard to do. And this doesn't only apply to his organization, the African National Congress. It applies to each and every representative that is elected to be in this parliament by the community. I think if we understand that those values means we are in partnership to build this nation, we would understand that the politics takes just the time when we are campaigning to be elected, which is once every five years. The rest of the time is we need to make an attempt to build this country. It doesn't only depend on the governing party. It depends on everybody else, in particular those representatives of different political parties that are here, but also the community itself. I thank you both uh, for coming and talking to us and sharing uh, your emotions about this day. Thank you very much. Thank you. And those uh, who, uh, the, that was Umamu Numaindi Amfegeto, who is uh, the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, and Mao Tandi Memela, who is the Deputy Chairperson of the NCOP. Now, on both, both sides... Uh, of me, you can see the, 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 the wall of remembrance where people have been streaming in since this morning and many, many, many of them have decided to come in and they've been writing their messages uh, of, of support to the family. I'll move a little bit down uh, and you can see here right next to me all of these now, messages and then we'll try and, read, we'll try and read some of them to you and see what they say. This one here says, what a great man, what a great leader. Data, we will forever be grateful for what you did for us. Life well lived, this one says, Hamburgata, Ugazo Ulifezile, a true hero. This one reads, eternally grateful for your life. And go see Madiba. So it, it, it's just been that kind of day where it, it's been really emotional. The people that have visited here, the, the, the public that have come in uh, to come and uh, share this day with, their, with, with Parliament and with the rest of us have, have, have written all kinds of stuff. And they've been doing so since very early this morning. And it's, uh, to experience this, to be here at this time, you really get the sense that you are part of history and that you are, you know, and that you, you, you have made a contribution, uh, you know, today to our country. It's not as much, of course, as what Tata Madiba did for us, but history nonetheless is made today. I thought I'd read a little bit more. De this one says, Bayadanki for your liver and forebuild in Afrikaans. Um, yeah. 
yeah, that in English translated, it says, uh, thank you very much for your life and for setting the example. There's so many, so many more that I can read. This one reads, dear Mr. Mandela, the day you were released was the best day for South Africa. One will remember it forever. You know, and, and, and that's what we've been experiencing the whole day. It's just emotion after emotion as people have been coming here to come and pay their last respects uh, to the former president, uh, Nelson Mandela. Time is now moving on. It's almost 12 o'clock and people are still coming in and they're getting seated in their seats, getting ready. Uh, for the special joint sitting of Parliament that's uh, to be held uh, this afternoon. We spoke a little bit earlier on uh, to the two deputies uh, of uh, one of the Speaker of the National Assembly, the other the deputy of uh, deputy chairperson of the NCOP. They unfortunately had to leave us. They couldn't speak to us for long because they must not go and uh, prepare for the sitting this afternoon. Uh, that's it from Parliament for now. Over to you guys uh, in Johannesburg.